Clamps should be wiped clean prior to etching. Cleaning the clamps eliminates any dripping of oil onto the mounted plate. This can lead to pimpling in areas of the plate that could completely blank out and not etch at all. Descumming the plates prior to etching will result in cleaner etches. Typical descum solution for red top is 5% 42 degree bomb A nitric acid and 1.5% 14 degree bomb A gum arabic mixed with water to make a 4 liter solution. Apply solution liberally to plate and lightly rub with pad. Rinse and repeat this application. Finally, rinse with water. Descumming AQ Blue and Hydrosol is done with a milder 1 to 3 percent solution nitric acid and water. Apply solution on plate and lightly rub with pad. Very light rubbing is preferred when dealing with fine lines and screens. Rinse plate with water after descumming. It's critical to prevent plate from oxidizing when clamping into plate holder. Plate should be kept wet with an application of Magnesium Electron's Express Guard plate protector prior to hanging on the plate holder. This will prevent oxidation which causes pimples. Notice that the plate is still wet during this process to prevent from oxidation. Controlling the etching variables begins with this panel. The elements of time, temperature, and paddle speed are controlled here. Each of these variables will affect your etch rate. Etch rate is determined by the depth of the etch divided by minutes etched. An etch rate of seven thousandths per minute is a good starting rate. It's a good idea to hit this rate with your first etch. As bath builds up magnesium, etch rate will tend to decrease. Control of these three variables, temperature, paddle speed, and acid concentration will have a significant effect on shoulder definition, etch depth, and etch rate. When making a change to any of these variables, it is wise to limit that change to one variable at a time.
finished plates can be dried in a number of ways. But clean compressed air is the preferred choice of many engravers for drying. The plate can now be weighed again and recorded into the etch log. The amount of acid that will need to be replenished in bath can now be determined using the acid addition formula below. Total magnesium dropped in bath in ounces times 200 milliliters equals the acid replenishment. Here the etcher is checking the depth of his etch with his depth gauge. Acid is added to maintain level and bath balance. If desired, the photoresist can be removed from the plates as a final step. Red Top requires a solvent or solvent blend stripper, while AQ Blue and Hydrosolve have their own aqueous top remover formulations. Finally, a light scrubbing is required to help lift the AQ blue top. We at Magnesium Electron hope this video has helped introduce you to the magnesium etching process. We ask if you have any questions to contact our corporate sales offices in the U.S. and the U.K. They can assist you and answer any questions you have about Magnesium Electron's complete line of magnesium plates and chemicals for magnesium etching. Feel free to ask for any pertinent literature, handbooks, troubleshooting guides, and etching log sheets to assist you with your etching operation. Our inside sales staff will be happy to forward any of your questions to our talented group of regional sales managers in the U.S. and Europe. We value your business and look forward to working with you in the future.